Okay, so the oil pump, here we go. Nice and clean nowadays. So let's start by cracking this thing open. It's a little spring in here, I can feel that. Whoa, hello. All right, so that was in there together with that spring. That must be the spring that determines the oil pressure. This thing looks a little weird. Why is that bent? Like it's not really in the center. Like it, is it supposed to be all loose like that? Hmm. Weird. Ew. Well, there is an O-ring. That is a pretty big O-ring. Where does that come from? Yeah, nah. Let's clean this up and use it again. I don't think that would be a problem. All right, so there we go. There is the oil pump ready to be reassembled. This is a 1996 pump. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's put this pump in here. There are a few things to consider when doing this. Uh, we're gonna get this on there, and then we're also gonna get a pipe from the uh, PCV on there. There we go. See how that kind of slid in there? You wanna make sure that happens, or else you could have issues, but <laughs> you wanna be able to get this thing on there as well. But that one's, this one's easier to slide in. There we go, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna get this thing. Funny looking thing. This is nice and soft. This thing is usually rock hard. And it goes from the, goes up to the crankcase breather. Then you have this retainer here that holds it in place. That sits in the oil pump. I'll just tighten this down. Let's move on to the, uh, this guy right here, this axle. Let's put that in there. Some lube, assembly lube that is, on here as well. This stuff is really sticky. It's like, uh, it's like syrup, you know, that you have on pancakes, like that Canadian stuff. And then, we send this guy down this hole. Let's put some assembly lube in there as well, just for the hell of it. One thing you gotta watch out with these engines is that uh, you have this uh, chest plate on here. Do you say that? We say that in Sweden anyway. We got this um, chest plate anyway that goes on the front here. Uh, that obviously has a gasket going around it right like this. That gasket is very important that that gasket is there. Do not replace that with silicone or something like that. Because if you do, the bearing play in this axle, this axial bearing play will become wrong. It'll become way too tight and then you will run this area down. Just put a gasket on here. Don't put any sticky stuff. Just just the gasket will be just fine. You can put a tiny dab of silicone just along the edge down here where the two gaskets meet. But other than that, no. And of course we got the ice and uh, water pump because I know that Volvo uses ice and as the stock uh, water pump. Maybe not on this engine in particular, but Volvo seems to trust them, and that makes me trust in them as well. So hopefully we won't have any issues with this thing. Let's 
got the, got the gasket and bolts, which is nice. Always love that. This stuff better not leak now that I'm actually devoting myself to not using any silicone. Gasket surface looks nice. We've got a, a cast wheel in there. It is slightly adjustable up and down. Guess we're gonna have to adjust that a little bit once the uh, cylinder head is in place. A friend of mine actually did this. This is water blasted. This is not painted. This used to be just as bad as it is on the B230F over there. Uh, this has no coating, no nothing on it. It's been blasted, but it has been water blasted in a, in a certain uh, process with uh, ceramic beads, which makes it look, I mean, just like factory. I had no idea that this type of technology even existed, but apparently it does. And I urge you who is building an engine or something like that to go and get this stuff done because I mean, it looks just amazing. I mean, look at that. I'll put a link to his company in the description. It's called SA Water Blasting in Tidaholm. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can either put the, uh, the seals inside this cover first and then try to get the cover on. But in my experience, it's been better to put this on first and then put the seal in there once it's in place. Should be fine of course it would be preferred to have the correct tool to press on there but I don't have anything like that maybe that is something for the web shop I can possibly make something here that will go on and just that'll automatically stop against the crank or something and align it perfectly but for the time being this is the best we can do and I think that'll be just fine remember we talked about these oil galleries before well, this is the port leading into it. And you definitely want to make sure you plug this up or else you will have oil just everywhere. There is no specific torque needed onto this. Just make sure it's like in there. Tighten it down. All right, so next thing we're gonna put the plate on back here. Uh, basically the same thing as the front to get on. to get this on before we put the oil pan on there. One thing that I think would be a, a good thing to do at this moment is to put the oil filter on uh, so we don't get any dirt in there. That would be, that would kind of suck. So I actually have a Bosch. Uh, I think Bosch makes the original uh, oil filters for these engines. We're not gonna worry about pre-filling or anything like that. Let's put it on like that. Okay, so these are the frost plugs. These need to go here. And you just kind of put them in place and just whack them in there. Um, these can go on several different ways. If, if we have a look at the B230F over here, we will look at this engine. We can see that this one has a different type of frost plugs. This is kind of the big dished type that you kind of got to put a dent into. All right, but right now we'll be putting these in. Basically, it's pretty straightforward. Just put them in here and knock them in. And then you have just a few different opinions, really. Uh, some people say that you should not have any type of glue or silicone or something. Uh, I am not that type of person. I would say put something on here because uh, usually they leak. As you can see, the surface in here is very, very rough. And the chances of this starting to leak if you don't have anything is like, well, it feels like it's guaranteed anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use some of this Loctite 577. 
uh, on here as well. You just lightly tap this sucker in here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put this back on. You wanna make sure that this little t flap right here on this piece of plastic, which we have replaced. Be sure to replace this little tube right here because it gets all hard and miserable after a few years. You wanna be sure you put a new one on there. Lube on here so that'll slide in easier. And then we just put it on here. There's nothing more to it. Oh yeah, we also put a new O-ring around here from the gasket kit, of course. All right, so one more thing that is weak on these B230 engines, except for the connecting rods, is uh, the timing belt puller, uh, the bottom tooth here. Uh, these have really weak points here for the, uh, the torsion to go through, uh, have a tendency to break. So then these just fly around on the crank like this. The biggest issue is, of course, you know, the timing will get so off that it will just blow the engine up, you know, if you're going uh, full hammer and uh, this thing just starts rotating on the crank, you're in trouble. So you replace it with this steel unit anyway, uh, which also requires you to make a little slot here on your uh, uh, harmonic balancer in order to fit this on her because it doesn't have that originally. So then it goes on something like that. And then we also have these two which need to go in place. You can actually replace these. And that doesn't really matter. It's not high precision stuff. There we go. And then we put this on here. And a beam, bada boom. And then I guess it's time for the cylinder head. We put that together. Wow. And I think we're gonna end this uh, episode right here, actually. And then we'll carry on with the cylinder head in the next episode. All right. Takotititta. Hi.